Hi guys, in this video, I'll go over some quick tips to maximize the frame rate on your ethernet based camera. We'll go over jumbo frames, receive buffers, interrupt moderation, and speed and duplex. I'll also go over two settings that you can change that might actually allow you to go over the stated maximum frame rate. Okay, first thing we want to do is enable jumbo frames. The setting needs to be made in the appropriate network adapter connected to your camera. To change the setting, go to view network connections. Right click the correct adapter connected to your camera and click properties. Then click the configure button. Under the advanced tab, select jumbo packet, or some might call it jumbo frames. And on the right hand side, select the 9014 byte option. Some cards might show 9000 or 9038, just choose whatever 9K option there is. Second option we wanna change is to increase the receive buffers. Most of the time, the default will be set to 512. We recommend bumping that up to 2048. Note that the higher the number, the more system memory is used. Third option is to enable interrupt moderation and set the moderation rate to adaptive. Most network cards will have the interrupt moderation setting, but some might not have the moderation rate. Setting interrupt moderation rate to adaptive allows the system to decide what rate to use given the current circumstances. Last thing we want to do is check the speed and duplex settings. You want to set this to auto negotiation. This is just to remove any chance of the link speed being set to something other than the highest speed of your camera. With these settings made, now click OK. Now let's double check these changes by checking them in our ArenaView software. Let's launch ArenaView. Here I've connected a Triton camera to the Ethernet interface card. I will enable the camera. Make sure that we are in the Features tab to check these settings. First thing I will check is the device link speed. And here we can see it's at the full 1 giggy bandwidth of the camera. For those using 5 giggy or 10 giggy cameras, here are the correct speeds that should show up. Next, let's check our jumbo packets. And here we can see the camera has detected the 9K jumbo packet setting that we made earlier. For our Atlas and Atlas 10 cameras, if you want to reach the highest frame rates, you'll need to set the ADC bit depth down to 8 bit as the default is set to 12. This isn't needed for our Phoenix or Triton cameras as they only stream at 12 bits. Now let's talk about two settings you can change to squeeze out even more FPS from your camera. The first setting is device link throughput reserve. This setting reserves bandwidth for packet resend. You can lower it, but be careful though. By setting this to 0%, there will be no bandwidth for resending dropped packets. Setting it to zero is equivalent to turning off packet resend. The second setting to change is stream channel packet delay and set that to zero. Again though, be careful as without any delay between packet deliveries can result in packet loss if the host system does not keep up. We recommend that you keep the reserve setting to 10% and packet delay to 80 from the best balance between reliability and performance. But if you absolutely need the highest frame rates, these are the two settings you want to look at. Here are a few examples. Here are some of the frame rate changes I was able to achieve by making these changes. With these setting changes, you should be able to squeeze a few more frames per second on our one giggy cameras. But for some of the Atlas and Atlas 10 models, you might not see an increase because we're already hitting the sensor limit. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and stay lucid.